It's May 3rd, 2017. And here we are at Miles Square Regional Park in the city of Fountain Valley. In 1974, President Nixon's Urban Park Legacy Program gave birth to Miles Square with the gift of 469.22 acres of the old 640-acre HALF, or Emergency Helicopter Landing Field in Fountain Valley. I can't help but think that Nixon did this as a favor to Orange County since his youth was spent living in Yorba Linda where he was best friends with Johnny Apolitegi, who worked for my dad at Douglas Aircraft Company. The Harbors, Beaches and Parks District, under the leadership of Larry Lehman, rose to the occasion and immediately embarked on developing the park with an abundance of baseball and other sports fields, lakes, roving archery, fixed archery, and even a golf course. All the buildings and landscaping, everything got underway right when I joined Harbors Beaches and Parks, now Orange County Parks, in January of 1975. It was a very exciting time bringing to fruition the largest phase of urban regional parks growth in Orange County history, of which Miles Square was literally the centerpiece because of its location smack dab in the middle of Orange County. We acquired that 469 acres for the modest sum of one dollar. But all the while, the federal government retained a 137.26 acre triangular shaped parcel in the middle of the park for emergency military helicopter landings. Where other popular but temporary recreational uses such as model airplane flying and land sailing took place. These enthusiastic groups and many others were worried about the fate of the center triangle since the Los Alamitos Naval Air Station the Tustin Lighter Than Air Station and El Toro Marine Corps Air Station were still fully operational and there was a terrible shortage of affordable military housing. The Department of Defense came up with the conceptual plans to build a lot of multi-story apartment buildings smack dab in the middle of the park. But the physical access through the surrounding park uh, was problematic and on top of that, a chorus of well-organized active sports groups and surrounding neighborhoods pressured the city of Fountain Valley and the Board of Supervisors to oppose the military housing proposal. The President George Herbert Walker Bush administration got the message and began to negotiate to sell the Center Triangle to Harbors, Beaches and Parks. That came to fruition in 1991 and 1992 when we bought the 137 acres. But unlike the Nixon administration, which only charged us a dollar for 469 acres, President Bush charged us almost 40 million dollars for the 137 acre inholding. We were a bit grumpy about that and it was the largest single expenditure in the history of the OC Park system, far outstripping, for example, the state of California's purchase of Crystal Cove State Park for only $26 million. Ultimately, the Center Triangle was developed into another golf course to serve the residents of Orange County. There are several lakes in the park and uh, they became an attractive nuisance to uh, coots, and there was a very significant coot population that established the park once the lakes were built. With the passage of time, it got worse and worse, and there were uh, a lot of the public complaining about the coot soiling the lakes, water, and so forth. After several years of ruminating about it, um, various generations of park rangers decided it was time to take action. And so what happened was one night, 
a cadre of park rangers came into the park at midnight and started shooting the coots. And the animal rights groups got involved and it became a big brouhaha. But nevertheless, the coots really couldn't be gotten rid of uh, at the time. They were, numbers were reduced, but they were always here. But uh, we can see today, in 2017, with no coots, but plenty of geese, which is uh, also an environmental problem for lake water quality, uh, not only here at Miles Square, but particularly at Laguna Niguel Regional Park, where some of the geese are almost the size of Volkswagen Beetles. There are many, many tot lots uh, in the park, and as you can see by the looks of this one in 2017, it almost looks brand new. One of the things about Miles Square and many of its companion facilities that were established in the 1970s was that all the buildings were built at the same time, and so they aged at the same time. And that resulted in the need to establish a capital replacement program for the OC Park system to program and then fund reconstructing and replacing aging facilities such as this tot lot and then over in this other direction the restroom facility that's obviously a new one that replaced one of the ones that was built in the 70s. Occasionally, we'll have some uh, memorial statues uh, and other kinds of historical memorabilia in the parks. This one a tribute to President Ronald Reagan. Here, we have a brand newly refurbished fixed archery facility. There used to be a roving archery facility in the park, but I have a hunch that that's gone now because it was a little too dangerous. You can see uh, different ages of trees in the park. We saw some large, venerable Italian stone pines earlier. Here we have some medium-sized Italian stone pines and torii pines, but you'll notice a lot of younger trees. The presence of the younger trees here at Miles Square Regional Park signifies an effort that's been underway throughout the entire Orange County Park system. For many decades, the Small Business Administration has had a grant program that channels money to local nursery growers to grow trees that we custom ordered as to size and species for deployment throughout the urban, the natural, the regional parks, and the beaches and the harbors and the historic sites to assure that we would have trees of all ages growing in all the facilities so that we would have new generations of trees following older generations of trees for deployment throughout the urban, the natural, and the wilderness park. historic facility which Harbors Beaches and Parks acquired from the Civic Center Authority uh, in 1966 and it is the old Orange County Courthouse built of Arizona red sandstone. Construction was completed in 1901 and uh, this is going to be where we interview a lot of our historic employees and my great-grandfather carved the granite block.